Hi, very quick update from the model room. Um, and I've had quite a few of you asking me through Instagram um, if anything's happening in here and when the next update's going to be. Sorry, I haven't I haven't really been doing anything in here, so there's not really much to film or show you. So I thought I'd do this quick update now, just so you know. I'm still alive in here. <laughs> well not in here, but you know, out there. <laughs> um but there isn't really much to be showing you guys. Um, I have had uh, a delivery of some flowers, um, various planters and pots that I found that I've been looking for, which I think will look really nice on the stations and perhaps around the cottages. So um, yeah, stuff keeps coming in, but I don't <laughs> seem to be doing anything with it. So um, perhaps I now need to concentrate on stop looking and ordering stuff and actually get doing. Um, and also, I've waited for it to drop a little darker to do this because of the sun situation that you all know about. Um, thank you so much, all the suggestions on the blinds and the curtains and various things. I am looking into it. Um, I had this great idea, as I often do have. Um, I often, no matter what it be, whether it be clothes or <laughs> um, something I've decided I need, I get ideas what I want and then I have a hell of a game trying to find it. So I suddenly had this thought, what well, if I could get blinds that I could have one of my photos printed onto, um, or curtains, it's looking more likely. I have found um, a couple of places that will do it, um, but it's mainly looking like curtains, which isn't... I was hoping for blinds, like some of you guys said, so whether I double up, perhaps go for plain blinds and then have the hinge curtains over. Um, I'm just taking my time at the moment because I want to get it right. Um, so yeah, it's just an idea I had. And I was thinking when I do get to the part where I'm perhaps changing the walls and things, I don't know whether to go for like a like a more scene or a big loco on them. Um, I'm just thinking at the moment. So that's work in progress too. Um, and you'll remember Levisham and the walls and things like that. Um, I've actually had another alteration. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Um, because what I was trying to do, I was looking on like Google Earth and looking at maps and um, pictures of looking down from above and that and trying to get sort of how the walling works and where the little gaps are for drives or parking. Because not all of them do have that. I know some of you saying, oh, where the car's going to go or where, well, not all of them do. There is one or two. So I was just trying to, it's obviously not going to be accurate as I keep saying, but mirror it a little bit. So, and to give me ideas of how to run the warning and that. So, um, I did find out that wall I had, it was Jarvis. So, as I'll show you again in a moment. So, I have found some on eBay for him, a little watch box. So, um, so if I decide I do need more, I can get it without going to Carlisle, which is good news. Um, so, yeah, it's it's been more sort of just coming in perhaps having 10 or 15 minutes sort of after work or um, weekends between range hours or if I'm about. So just trying to form ideas. Um, I really need to get going with this hill area, I keep saying it, but get the kind of overgrown shrubs and trees and the, you know, weeds. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for for that area. I want to really start tackling that next, um, just so it gives me time to think on Leversham, because I don't think those walls are going to sell out or anything, she says. <laughs> so, um, and it'll just give me, as I work, I perhaps just keep looking and thinking, and I am back at the North Yorkshire Moors in August, so only a month, just over a month away, so I don't think I'll be making it down to Leversham, because um, it is a flying visit. And I will be MPD um, for that area for a month and that. So um, I don't think I'll get further south in sort of Govland for that trip. But um, I need, I you know, just some more inspiration for that area anyway. So that's fine. Um, but I'm back for longer in September. And that's when I intend to get down to Leversham. So um, yeah, so I think will be, like I say, I'll go back, have another look, perhaps spend an hour some time there and just have a look and see how I feel. So that's what's going on. So let's cut to the clips now and show you um, the flowers I've been buying. Um, I am, I, I love gardens, I love flowers, I love shrubs, I don't know if I've said before. 
um, my garden is <laughs> starting to look like, I mean, everything's gone kind of crazy with the rain and the sun and rain and sun. The shrubs and the trees are like, but um, it's nesting season, so not cutting them, not touching those till the autumn because obviously the birds love it. You might look and think, that needs a trim, that needs tidying up, but being an RSPD member, don't touch your don't touch your trees and shrubs this time of year or your hedges because you know they're rearing their young. So um so yes, I'm very big keen on um gardening and you know plants and flowers and that so I want to bring that as well to the layout as a plant. So let me show you what I bought and let me show you what now Leverton's looking like this week. So, the infamous Leverton. So, as you remember, I got those, these ones in line, which have now been moved temporarily. Um, and this has now appeared. It's like Hornby Wall, this is. Um, so, yeah, trying to kind of mirror the shape. Um, I'm using the little Swift there, um, just to mirror what the parking area would be. So, gap in the wall, which obviously... If I was sticking with this, I'd improve that part there. Um, and then running it up to the outbuilding there. The hedge is still there and everything you saw there is still there. I've been playing about with the trees a little bit as well. Because um, they're not fixed down as I said. So, yeah, I'm thinking because that wall, actually I've got some spare, which I'd picked up again off Dave Edge and Grandmont last time I was there. Um, it mirrors the... The little squat wall. So I was thinking, do I uniform the walls there, have those matching, or do I go with the Hornby wall there, but go with the Jarvis, I've actually found it's called Jarvis, change it, you know, and, <laughs> and perhaps swap for the farm, swap the Hornby out for the Jarvis wall. That's that's something I'm thinking about. So yeah, it was um, it's a variation of the Jarvis wall range. I have actually found it on eBay if I do want more of it but since then I've obviously been playing about and don't know if I do want more of it yet but if obviously did all squat it goes all the way around the perimeter there rather than having sort of the railway fence you see that side I went for the wall and it just goes around a little sort of allotment area they've got to the house. So I would need quite a few more pieces if I went for that idea. So I need to be sure rather than just waste and spend the money on that. So that's that part. And here are the flowers and the flower pots. Um, I've spread them all out because there's quite a few packets, but they're quite nice. I love those. Oh, another quote, we're going to all blurry. Um, hope that's showing up. So different variations. You can see that's more like um, towels. <laughs> Yeah, more like barrels in that one. There's a pose or planters as opposed to little pots in that one. Um, I had quite a, you know, sort of bought a little bulk of each sort of variety. Slightly different in that one. Little daffodil pots and that. And just a few more here. Much more of the same, really. Oh, you can see. So it's like a variation of barrels and pots, which. I don't like um they like troughs look. They like rectangular crates, they might be good for the stations actually. I'll stick those out, I don't know how well that's showing up, but they'd be quite decent for the, the stations. So yeah, so lots more arrivals, more action needed, so there's my uh, my flower selection. So, thank you as ever for watching. That is going to be it for this week. Um, as I say, I just thought I'd do this update just so you know, you know, not much has happened in here, but sort of the little bits of thoughts that are still going on. Um, so, <laughs> I was actually sat thinking, speaking of the garden earlier, um, oh, gauge. <laughs> I was looking and thinking, mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't. Then I'm, I'm thinking, don't oh, get your brains back in here, you know, you need to concentrate and crack on here before you start something new and crazy, but 
I am thinking about, I mean, knit to vintage trains ties, Luke, as you means the guys know, last weekend, weekend before, um, where the duke is being restored, and you know, I've got my own gauge duke, so, yeah, I did stand there thinking, need to sort it, yeah, and you need to, you know, get it out, get it running, at least, you know, test run and whatever, so, we see, so, yeah. Who knows? Maybe come the autumn, you'll be like, "What's happened to the hill?" Oh, nothing, because she's now playing the Glam Brogage. <laughs> so we'll see. But yeah, so thank you guys as well. Thanks for the support and thank you for the encouragement and the messages you send. I am sorry that you know there isn't something better for you right now, but um, I promise, I promise. Eventually, when I stop gallivanting now, <laughs> um, I'll make something better for you all, hopefully, and something will actually start moving in here a little bit more. But until then, happy modelling and hopefully I'll be back next week. <laughs>